Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Amp Local. My name is Doug Doherty. I live in San Diego, California. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. I made this video to give you an idea of your position on internet and the and Google and to show you if new prospects can actually find your company when they're thinking of your service or roofing. Okay, that's what you guys do. All right, so I just want to jump straight into the video. As you can see, we're on one of my business pages. My company's AMP Local. We do AMP. We are AMP Internet Marketers. Um, we are experts in web design, and we are specialists in SEO. Okay, so let me just jump straight into the video. So as you can see, we're on your website here. All right, quick roofing. So 82% of the population they use Google to find a product or service in their area. All right. So how are they going to find you? <clears throat> They're going to go to Google and they're going to type in roofing in that city wherever they live. It's simple as that. I'm sure you can contest it as, you know, Google is the most popular, powerful way to extract information from the Internet and it's not going anywhere. All right. People really entrust in this process and, and this, it's here to stay. <clears throat> so to find you, obviously, that, you know, like I said, they would type in roofing into the search engine. Um, so roofing is going to generate. Uh, this is my keyword planner. So roofing generates about 2 million searches a month, okay? So huge potential um, in a city that you service like Dallas and Houston, some of those big cities, it's about 50,000 searches a month. So the huge, huge potential um, to generate tons and tons of revenue, which I'm sure you guys are already, okay? So, um, so this is what they would, so you guys are located in uh, Ken, Kennedale, Texas, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, all right? So, Kennedy, Texas. So, as you can see, Quick Roofing is ranked number one in the maps. All right, with a 4.7 review. Very good. And it's ranked organically number one in organics. And that is fantastic. Okay, let me show you this real quick. This is the population of uh, Kendall. Okay, so right now it's currently about 7,000 to 8,000. We'll put it in that range. Okay, so. I understand that you guys provide services, roofing services, to many cities and a couple different states, especially Texas and Oklahoma, all right? So I know Austin, Dallas, and Houston are three of the biggest cities that you um, service to in Texas. So I wanted to know if I was a uh, homeowner or a business owner looking to get a new roof or, given, or looking to get some repairs done, can I find you? Uh, or who am I going to be able to see when I'm looking for that business or looking for that service, okay? So, for you, I typed in roofing in Austin, Texas, okay? This is naturally how somebody would find somebody in, in Google, all right? And I have to be honest, um, I'll tell you right away, for Austin, Dallas, and Houston, I could not find you in the first 10 pages, okay? So, if you're not on the first page of Google, you might as well be on the 20th page. Let me tell you why, all right? 91% of all the clicks are going to come from the first page. 68% of all the clicks are going to come right here in the top three of the organic, okay? And number one is going to get 34%, okay? Let me show you this chart real quick. This kind of exemplifies what I was telling you about. Number one gets 34%, which you're pulling in Kennedale, which is great, but Kennedale is a very small city. You're thinking massive. You are trying to expand uh, across Texas, across different states. So in order to do that, we have to incorporate the SEO like I'm, like I'm trying to, and, and the lead generation like I'm trying to show you here. So number one, 34%. If you're ranked number two, if you're ranked on page two, which is number 11, you're barely getting 1% and it just falls and falls and falls. And like I said, I could not even find you um, in, in, those, in the first pages of Google. Because um, be honest, are you going to go to page two or three to, to look for a service or business? Or are you going to go towards um, the number one ranked person with all the stars and right here? Okay. So, again, Austin, Texas, um, no love. Okay. Austin's population, 885,000. Uh, 885, so, we can say maybe, you know, estimate that to about a million people. Huge potential there to own a, a roofing company and have it rank number one. Um, roofing in Houston, okay. No, again, no love here. I cannot find you. Um, Houston, one point, uh, two point two million. I mean, that's incredible amount of potential you could have for your company there. And of course, roofers in Dallas, Texas. Keywords, um, 
No, it could not find you there either. All right, Dallas, 1.3 million people. All right, so um, the, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, this is incredible. Um, if I can't be fine, how are these people supposed to, to uh, see me to give me their money when they need a roof? Because that's what I'm essentially trying to make you understand is I'm here to funnel all of these clients to your business so you make that revenue for that service that you're providing. All right. So I want to show you something really quick before I show you how, what some of the things we can do to get you that exposure you deserve. Okay. Real quick. This is your business right now. All right. Quick, uh, quickroofing.com. This is your website. So for December, you generated about 137 website clicks. Okay. So that means 137 people found your link to your website somewhere on the internet. All right, whether that be people that live directly in Kennedale um, and click because they needed a roofing job uh, in Kennedale, or that could be um, your business was listed somewhere on the internet and they read through an article or a citation or maybe on Facebook and you know and they clicked on the website. Okay, that's that's kind of the way it works. All right, so 137 for December. This is one of your top competitors in Dallas. They're called JNT Developers. Okay, one of the top competitors. All right, look how many they got for December. They got 565. Okay, that is literally four to five times more business they received just in one city. This is just one city. All right, and this is not the biggest city. All right, this is Dallas at 1.3. You still got Houston at 2.2 million. All right, so imagine Austin, Dallas, and uh, Houston. What if your business was number one in the maps, number one in organic? How much revenue do you think? I see projected uh, up to 15 to 20 times your revenue right now. That's what I see growing from Kennedale because right now you have zero exposure out of Kennedale. I know that you service these other areas and you do get contracts here and there and your business may be listed anywhere, but as far as Google, the most pop popular and powerful way to extract information and find a company, you are not a parent, you're in obscurity, okay? So with that being said, I want to talk to you about some ways that we can get you there, all right? So Google, it has 200 determining factors in the algorithm. The algorithm is the ranking system, okay? I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones, okay? Once you nail these four down accurately, all the 196 will fall into place, okay? Because there's many things and components that have to be done, and they all kind of work together, okay? So the first thing I want to talk to you about is content, all right? So I'm going to go to your page. Authoritative content. This is one thing Google definitely looks at. So when someone search for a roofer or a roofing job or a roofing company in their city, Google's automatically going to search all the websites and see who's got the most content on the very home page. Okay, and in within that content are the key words like roofing company, um, Dallas, Houston, uh, repairs, uh, roofers. All of these key words are they mentioned multiple times? Is your website um, lengthy? Does it have authoritative content? All right. Are you really advertising for that city and location? Is does the ad is the address for that city and a phone number for that city on the home page? Okay. All of those things play come into play. So looking at your home page, all right. You have you guys have one website here, quickroofing.com, um, and you kind of branch out. You say you talk about you talk about Dallas. You talk about all the um, different areas that you guys service, all right? So this is making it a challenge, all right? So authoritative content, let me get back on track here. Authoritative content, you need to have 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page, okay? And looking at your page, you do have some content, you know, you have a nice navigation menu, but Google doesn't care about this. It cares about these paragraphs right here, it cares about this paragraph right here, and it cares about these paragraphs right here, okay? And it also cares about this address here and the phone number here, all right? So if I lived in Dallas and wanted to get my roof for uh, roof redone or build building a house, I need a roof done. Um, you would not pop up. Obviously, you know that already. You're not popping up. All right, that's because you're not located. Your address is not in Dallas, and your uh, telephone is not in Dallas. Okay, 
and your content, you have maybe 200, 300, maybe 400 words or so. All right. So a thousand or 2000 word relative, relative content relative to the topic. Okay. That's very, very important. Let me, let me show you what authoritative content looks like. So I went to Google and I typed in elephant. Okay, look what's number one, Wikipedia. Let me click on that. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up, popping up as number one. Why? Because of their authoritative content. Look at this page. Endless, endless amounts of elephant information. Okay, where they come from, the evolution, what did they eat, their habitat, their geographical location, uh, anatomy, every, everything, you, you name it, it's on here, okay? This is probably 30,000 plus words, okay? I'm not gonna scroll, I just wanna give you an idea um, of what authoritative content looks like, all right? But for your page, 1,000 to 2,000 words is what we wanna get you, all relevant to the, the topic, okay? Next, I wanna talk to you about citations, okay? We also call these business listings, okay? So, some examples, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yelp, yellow pages, white pages, these are so very important. This is how we get our name and our business and our product out on the internet, all right? And when we do them, we have to have our business name, address, and phone number identical, because if not, Google's gonna slap us down, okay? So for you, you have a 40% error rate, okay? This is not good. So let's look at some of the issues. So you're missing listings. You're not listening to white pages, super pages, okay? Um, you're, you have inaccurate information with your address here, inaccurate information here, all right? So this is some differentiations um, that you have to fix. Um, and you're not listed here. I guarantee you that there's prospects in those cities that you guys provide the service for that are looking for roofers and can't find you because you're not even listed, all right? But most importantly, Google's not taking you serious because you're not listed. So there's, they're really, it's really affecting your rankings, all right? So this is the list of the top 50. This is just the list of the top 50. There's actually thousands of these, okay? We wanna get you listed over time. If you're trying to expand and dominate the searches for these big cities and different states, you're gonna have hundreds and hundreds of these, okay? But they have to be spaced out and they have to, have to be done correctly and accurately implemented, all right? So, and it's all about knowing where they are and how to do them and having the time to do them uh, correctly, okay? So that's citations. These are directly responsible for your maps, by the way, getting ranked number one in the maps. All right, third thing, influence pages. So influence pages, we also call these backlinks, um, they're high quality or they could be low quality domains um, that reference your website. So say you have a client thoroughly impressed with the service, brand new roof, they wanna tell the world about it, which I'm sure happens all the time. Um, and I'm gonna show you why I know that in a minute. Um, you know, say they write articles, they have a blog, they have a website, you know, um, so they'll write an article on their blog or wherever you, or what have you, um, and they'll actually link your website on their website. So anyone reading that article can actually click the link and go directly to your website. This is fantastic for you because now you have a new prospect that might need a new roof, right? Or they could tell their friends, hey, if you need a new roof, you know, quick roofers and, and from out of Kennedale, you know, we'll, we'll come take care of you or, or whatever. Um, so that's huge, but most importantly, Google sees that you have votes, all right? Go Google is a popularity contest. The more votes you have, the higher chances you're gonna win the, the race. It's kind of like running for president, all right? The most votes you have, uh, the more chance you're gonna get the high ranks, all right? Or, or win the position, all right? So you're looking at some numbers here. I wanna explain um, some of these numbers to you, okay? So your trust flow, 26. Um, citation flow 26. So both of these numbers are range are ranked from zero all the way to 100. Okay, so that kind of shows you where you're at in the race if it goes up to 100. Okay, so you're about a quarter of the way there. The good thing is for the trust flow, um, unless you're Google or unless you're a Wikipedia or a high power service, uh, you won't see past 30 or so on your trust flow. Okay, so you guys are doing pretty good in that, but Citation flow, however, it's a quarter of the way. It's showing you're not really pulling in that much flow. There's not too much going. There's, there's good high quality flow coming, but there's not enough of it, okay? So that's pretty much what that's saying, all right? So, sorry. Um, so let me show you this chart real quick. This shows you the quality of your, your trust flow, okay? So low quality all the way up to high quality, all right, you guys are at 26, so y'all are up here. I don't even have a chart to range that, 
All right, I need to add another uh, bar that shows that goes up to 30. Okay, so you guys are doing good in that category. All right, so let me show you. So, got, so kudos on that one. Okay, you guys, whoever's writing your articles and posting your link and, and uh, referencing you on the internet, they're coming from really high quality trusted sources in Google's eyes. That's what that's saying. All right, so let me show you this. There are 35 referencing domains means there's 35 websites on the internet right now that have a link to your website on it. That's exactly what that's saying. External black back, uh, excuse me, backlinks of 88 is saying that within those 35, you are mentioned 88 times, okay? Uh, it could be five times on one site. It could be one time on another site. It could be 20 on a third site. Who knows, all right? But that's what that's saying. All right, so that is um, very important stuff. So over time, what's affecting you right now, you have high quality trusted clients that are mentioning you on the internet with the Trustflow 26, but you're not pulling in enough, okay? And that's reflected right here in these numbers, okay? 35, the top competitors are gonna have like 500, okay? They're gonna have like thousands of, of external backlinks. I've seen one client of have like 12,000 backlinks and he had like 450 or so um, uh, re referencing domains, okay? That's like huge, okay? That's where you wanna be. That's how you're gonna dominate the cities and the states and the expansion and the level of growth that you're, you're, you're trying to achieve here, okay? So this is huge. This is how you get ranked number one on organic, okay? This is direct contributor to num being number ranked number one on organic. All right, so this is huge stuff right here. Fourth and final thing I want to talk to you about, being mobile friendly. All right, this is, this is incredible right here for you to understand. 60% of the population, okay, not only that they're going to use, 82% of them are going to use Google, but that 60% of, of them are actually going to go to their iPhone or Android and look, look for their product or service in their city on their iPhone, Android, smart device, iPad, you name it, they're whatever, their mobile device, okay? So you have to look great on that site um, for them to, to like you. I mean, who wants to look at, uh, if, if I'm looking for a carpet cleaning or whatever, and I can't even read the, my phone, I have a big, you know, the iPhone 6 and I still can't read it because it's too, too small, that's like bad for the consumer, right? But most importantly, Google's not taking you serious because you have to be mobile friendly. It's a big, big time um, judgment of, of where you're going to fall in the Google rankings. So for your website, for quickroofing.com, you are not uh, mobile friendly for various reasons. This is kind of what it looks like on a phone. Um, you can't read that. I mean, you couldn't read that. It would be very difficult to read that. So it's very important that we get you um, a mobile friendly website. Okay. Everything I just showed you has to do with local SEO, you know, dominating in the city for the service that you provide. Um, you want to expand. Obviously, um, I know that your business is expanding. You want to provide for multiple cities and multiple states. All right. Um, and I think we both can agree after showing you the information I just showed you, that's not being as successful as, successful as it could be. Okay. <clears throat> so let me just, I want to show you an example of what I did for one of my clients. Okay. This is a very new client. I just took him on. Um, he owns a party bus and limousine company. Okay. Um, so I've only been, been with him for about three weeks. So this is his, these are the number of calls I did. Okay. So I did a lead generation website for him. Okay. He has his business website for San Diego <clears throat> and he's pulling almost no leads from it. Okay. All, most of his business is coming from Yelp, but he knows he could be doing much more. So I created, before I even met the guy, what I, one thing I do is I create lead generation websites. I get these sites up, built, ranked, and put them at the top of a Google search for a, a city um, for whatever service I'm in. This one's Party Bus and Limo. Um, and I get it ranked up there and I just start sending the leads to a company. I picked this guy and he started just taking the leads. And he, we talked after a, a couple days. He's like, man, uh, I need you to meet me at the Starbucks. You know, we need to talk about some business. So um, just in three weeks of doing business with him, he has received from my lead generation website, 88 phone calls. This is what it looks like. 88 phone calls just in three weeks of doing business up to today, which is for me is January 23rd. Um, 88 phone calls. These are hot, ready to go leads coming to spend money for a party bus or limousine. Okay. Now this could be you for roofing. All right. So that's just phone calls. Let me show you how many emails. This, this is 
uh, a different looking chart. It doesn't have the uh, the lines, but it's this is 40 emails that he received from my website um, where somebody you know wanted whatever kind of party bus for how many people for that day. These are 40 people that are requesting information, a contract to make a deal. So essentially, you do the math: 88, 40. What's that? 128 leads in three weeks or so. 128 leads. We're not even been doing business a month yet. So huge, huge potential for, for you and your company and what I do with SEO and local lead generation. Okay. Now I want to show you this. I want to show you this directly on my video. This is attached in the email. Um, so you can look at it through yourself, but this is my brochure for all my services that I provide. Okay. And it gives you great detailed information about what SEO is, why do you need a website, social media marketing, everything that I do, um, the local SEO, all right, if you have e-commerce, uh, being mobile friendly, pay-per-click, um, the local lead generation, which I want to talk to you real quick about, <clears throat> and the power form call system, which I want to mention as well. Okay, so this is my three categories uh, for, for, for my packages for SEO. The first one is social media marketing. Um, which I'm sure you're, you're interested in, but you want more than that. Local SEO, this is how you dominate the city that you're in, okay, for, for one website, all right? This is my most popular package. This is what most of my clients get, um, like in San Diego, for instance. Um, you know, they want to, when somebody thinks carpet cleaning, they want to be it, you know? So when someone searches carpet cleaning San Diego, they're it, or limousine, um, you know, or auto dealer, I have an auto dealer. So um, that's the most popular package. Um, now, my elite SEO with advanced growth, this is for the big time expanding go getter. Um, so, like my car dealer guy, he wants to be it for San Diego, North County, all of the division cities. So, he's, he's reaching out for the elite SEO. Okay. Um, so, in here, it's got detailed, you know, and, and if you do business, if we, if we partner, you get monthly reports on all this stuff. So, you, all this stuff in these categories, you can expect to see a report with it done, and you can actually click on the report and go verify it online. You know, all the citations, all the backlinks that you do. I even get you reviews uh, for Google and, and, and Yelp. You know, I outsource, I have a, a professional um, group, uh, a group of professionals that uh, do this as well as me and we reach out to each other in this in this secret group and we um, uh, do reviews and, and improve your reviews within your area you know your Google AdWords get the phone ringing right now um, you know so for the elite SEO if you're really trying to dominate you're already good for Ken Kennedale you're trying to get Houston you're trying to get Austin Dallas you know Oklahoma whatever other cities um, you need the elite SEO, you know, it, it includes the local SEO for your, your current city. We can fix uh, some of the things that's going on to make it better. So you look better on the internet. But what I want to get you is these lead generation websites. Okay. Lead generation websites is what, is what you're going to get. You're going to get all this great stuff, all these great services, but you're going to get lead generation websites. All right. So these lead generation websites you want to have one per city. So we're essentially going to be building you a new website per city. Now we can do local SEO for your current website and I can go in your website and try to retarget for the cities, but it's not going to be as effective because you have to have multiple addresses. You have to have multiple uh, phone numbers to reach certain clients in those areas. Okay. This is very important. If you're going to expand, you have to be, um, everything has to be the same on all the platforms. Okay. So lead generation website, <clears throat> all right, they're $2,000 a month, all right, fully optimized for whatever city, you know, Houston, uh, Dallas, I give them local SEL, so they'll dominate all the searches uh, for, for that city, and I'll do all the social media marketing um, that, that's necessary to, to get that site up, all right. So this is huge potential. If you're trying to dominate three, four cities, you want to have three, four of these sites. If you're trying to dominate 10, 20 cities, you want to have all these sites. Okay, this is, this is how it's done, all right? This is how you're gonna be able to pull all the leads uh, and funnel them directly to your business and dominate in those areas, all right? So, like I said, <clears throat> we can do local SEO for your current website and I can go in there and do what I can to retarget for those cities that you provide and some work will happen, some things will improve, 
but it's not going to be as effective as jumping into my SEO elite model with the advanced growth options. All right. So there, cause there are all the things that you're going to get in here, it's going to give you everything you need to expand on the level you're trying to expand. All right. Um, one thing I didn't mention, the power call system, you do get one. So with the elite SEO, you do get one local G, uh, gen website um, and you get the power call system. Okay. So both of these combined are $3,000 a month. But <clears throat> so for the form to, power form to phone call system, this is whenever a client goes to your website um, and they fill out a form. Okay. They put in their phone number, their name, their, uh, their number. And they say for you, they would say, you know, that I need a new house or a roofing repairs at this address. There'll be, might, might be a comment box, however you do your forms. Okay. And they'll send you an email and you'll get a, your sales call or sales rep will get an email, um, for a new client. So what this system does, it's a tracking email that I create. I created this, this phone system. It automatically converts that form request into a direct phone call to any phone number of your choosing. It does not affect your CRM. Your CRM uh, is maintained. You get, you still get your reports. You still get generated reports for, uh, to your sales rep, but this is going to give you that wow factor for that client. I just, and they'll be like, I just hit send and you guys are calling me. You guys are awesome. You know, wow, what a way to service somebody. Yeah. I need my, my roof's done or, or whatever, you know, that's kind of how the conversation will go. So, this is some of the things I wanted to put this straight in the video. I don't normally do this, but I think that you guys are serious about building your business, about getting and expanding across different states. Um, so you need to see this in the forefront and I wanted to be able to explain it to you seeing that I'm in a different state. All right. But all the work that I do, it can be from afar. I have clients um, in uh, Denton, Texas. I have clients in North Carolina. Um, and, and then of course my clients here in San Diego. So um, that I've been in the Navy, um, uh, Darwin Romero, uh, one of your sales rep, me and him were stationed in Italy together. So, um, that's kind of how I hooked up with you. I didn't mention that at first, but it, it's coming out now. Um, but yeah, the Navy has brought me here and I've got been doing this for a while now and it's been very, very successful. So, um, again, I thank you for your time, uh, that you took to watch this video, a lot of information. Um, I really hope it explained you know, about SEO, you know, local lead generation, um, why these things are so important, you know, how much value I could bring uh, to your company. You could literally multiply your business times up to 20. I mean, easily if you invested um, into SEO and local lead generation. So uh, again, thank you for your time. You have all my information. Please look over uh, the, the contract a little bit more. Um, and then uh, give me a call. I'll, I'd love to do, I'll do a screen, uh, I'll do like a, um, a Skype, we can do a Skype call or FaceTime call um, and, and then have a meeting. Um, well, I could just take a call. Uh, just let me know. All right. Thanks again. And y'all have a great day.